Solana versus Ethereum. The showdown begins. In the ever-changing world of crypto, Ethereum and Solana are big players vying for the top spot. So as we go deeper into 2024, which project can be considered superior? Well, that can't be determined until we consider some factors. So stick around as we delve deeper into who's the boss between these two. However, it's important to note this isn't financial advice, so don't take it as one. So let's begin. The beginning. Founders and funding. Imagine a group of brilliant minds led by Vitalik Buterin coming together in 2013 to revolutionize the world of blockchain. Like Gavin Wood and Charles Hoskinson, whose contributions would help shape Ethereum's trajectory. The initial coin offering, ICO, came into the picture in 2014, raising a staggering $18 million for Ethereum. It became clear at this point that Ethereum had captured the imagination of investors and tech enthusiasts alike. But Ethereum's journey didn't end there. Guided by the Ethereum Foundation, a nonprofit organization based in Switzerland, the platform continued to evolve and innovate. With ongoing development overseen by the foundation, Ethereum remained at the forefront of blockchain technology, pushing boundaries and inspiring a new generation of developers and entrepreneurs. Meanwhile, Solana emerged as a game changer in the realm of smart contract platforms. Solana was established in 2017 by Anatoly Yakovenko, a former Qualcomm engineer. However, unlike its predecessors, Solana prioritized lightning-fast transaction processing and robust decentralization, setting itself apart in a crowded market. The Solana Labs and the Solana Foundation worked hand-in-hand -hand to drive Solana's development. Their collective efforts bore fruit as Solana embarked on a remarkable fundraising journey. From 2018 to 2020, Solana raised approximately $25 million through various ICOs, showcasing early investor confidence in its vision and capabilities. Furthermore, in 2021, Solana made headlines by securing an additional $314 million in funding, cementing its position as a formidable player in the blockchain space. The influx of funding not only fueled Solana's technological advancements, but also fueled its ecosystem's growth. Developers and projects flocked to Solana, attracted by its high throughput and low transaction costs. I think it's safe to say both have an excellent foundation in funding. Okay, let's dive deeper into some other factors. Technology. Ethereum isn't just about transferring value. It's about revolutionizing digital interactions. How? Well, they introduced something called smart contracts, which are like self-executing digital agreements. It typically involves setting a condition, and once they're met, boom, the contract executes automatically. Plus, Ethereum's got this vibrant ecosystem of decentralized apps, or dApps, and decentralized finance, or DeFi, making it a hub of innovation. Ethereum initially ran on a proof-of-work system called the ETHash algorithm. Ethereum network transitioned from a proof-of-work consensus mechanism to a proof-of-stake in 2022 to improve the network's capabilities, and it was a game-changer. So what's the deal with proof-of-stake? Well, it's all about validating the blockchain's state and giving users the chance to earn rewards by becoming validators themselves. Ethereum runs on a proof-of-stake blockchain, powered by the ghost consensus mechanism. Currently, it's handling around 30 transactions per second, with a latency of about 13 minutes. Ethereum boasts a whopping 900,000 validators, making it a fortress of security and decentralization. That's what sets Ethereum apart, folks. Now, let's switch gears to Solana. Solana is all about pushing the boundaries of scalability and speed. How do they do it? Solana combines the proof-of-stake mechanism with their groundbreaking proof-of-history protocol. And trust me, no combo has been better. You want to know why? Well, while the proof-of-stake helps validators earn rewards, the proof-of-history introduces a timestamp system that acts like a clock for the events on the blockchain. This means every transaction gets a timestamp, creating an undeniable record of when it occurred. It's like having a built-in timekeeper, ensuring the integrity and accuracy of the blockchain. This innovation has helped simplify transaction verification, turbocharging Solana's throughput to handle way more transactions per second than traditional blockchains. Solana processes a mind-blowing 2 to 3,000 transactions per second with a latency of just 12 seconds. And get this, it's theoretically scalable to a jaw-dropping 65,000 transactions per second. But here's the trade-off. Solana's blazing speed means it's got fewer validators, clocking in at less than 2,000. So while it may sacrifice a bit of decentralization, there's no denying Solana's lightning-fast performance. But wait, there's more. Solana's got a whole arsenal of tech marvels like Tower BFT, Turbine, Gulfstream, and more. 
These innovations work together seamlessly, paving the way for Solana to be a force to be reckoned with in the world of blockchain. While both platforms have excellent technology in place, people definitely prioritize speed and excellent records. So you'd agree with me that Solana wins here. But don't conclude here. Let's consider some other important things. Tokenomics and price. Ethereum started with an initial supply of 72 million coins, and there was no cap on how many could be created. But don't let that scare you off, because Ethereum's got a trick up its sleeve a deflationary mechanism powered by burning transaction fees. Ethereum introduced a base fee for transactions, ensuring smoother and more predictable processing. However, these base fees got burned with each transaction, effectively reducing the supply of Ethereum over time. This ingenious mechanism means that as Ethereum's network activity increases, more Ethereum gets burned, potentially driving up its value in the long run. This means Ethereum isn't just sitting around, it's actively reducing its supply over time. And boy has it paid off. Ethereum has skyrocketed over 7,000 times from its humble ICO beginnings. Currently, Ethereum has about 120 million supply from its 72 million initial supply. For a coin that doesn't have a limit to creation, that's definitely not bad, thanks to the deflationary mechanism. Now let's talk about Solana's soul. According to the Solana Foundation, there's a total of 511,616,946 soul out there, with 319,526,198 soul currently in circulation. But what sets soul apart isn't just its numbers, it's the versatility. Sol isn't just a token for transferring value, it's a multi-tool used for paying transactions, staking, and even governance. Yep, you heard that right. Sol holders have a say in critical decisions affecting the protocol, making it a true community-driven project. And here's a fun fact, Solana's got a deflationary thing too. With each transaction fee, a whopping 50% of Sol gets burned, further reducing its supply and potentially driving up its value. But here's where it gets interesting. Sol's got a different game plan when it comes to inflation. Currently sitting at around 6.5%, Solana's inflation rate is set to decrease to a modest 2% by the end of the decade. And despite its aggressive vesting program, where tokens are released over time, Sol has still managed to soar an impressive 500 times from its ICO price. Currently, ETH is above $3,000, while Sol is hovering around the $200 mark. Seems it's obvious who won here. Okay, let's talk about relevant metrics and NFTs. NFTs. Despite being the new kid on the block, Solana's already making waves in the NFT space. Just take a look at popular projects like Degenerate Ape Academy, Soul Punks, and Solana Monkey Business. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Solana's total value is climbing steadily, currently sitting at 115.87 million with a daily volume of 42,095,743. Impressive, right? It's clear that Solana is making a name for itself in the NFT world, and it's just getting started. But when it comes to NFTs, Ethereum is like the OG, the trailblazer, the pioneer. It's been leading the charge with its ERC721 token standard, the backbone of various NFT projects. And let's not forget about ERC1155, paving the way for semi-fungible tokens. Ethereum's dominance is clear from the numbers, with an incredible total value of $19.6 billion. That's a whole lot of digital art, collectibles, and virtual real estate finding new owners on the Ethereum blockchain. So, Ethereum again. Okay, next up, adoption. Adoption. First off, the Solana Phantom Wallet has over 2 million downloads and nearly 1 million monthly active users. And while the total value locked in Solana's DeFi ecosystem is just under $1.5 billion, it's important to note that Solana's growth has been nothing short of impressive. But let's keep it real. Ethereum's still holding onto that adoption crown, leading the pack with its massive user base and ecosystem. Talk about dominance. With over 15 million downloads of the MetaMask wallet, it's clear Ethereum's got a massive following. Nearly 400,000 active users are tapping into Ethereum's DeFi ecosystem, locking in a jaw-dropping total value of almost $30 billion. Plus, with around 6,000 developers in its corner, Ethereum's presence in the crypto world is undeniable. It's like the heavyweight champ, leading the charge and setting the standard for blockchain innovation. Again, Ethereum takes the crown. Challenges First up, Ethereum. While it's been leading the charge in the blockchain space, it's not without its challenges. And one serious one is fragmentation. 
High transaction fees are causing some serious headaches, making it harder for users to navigate the Ethereum network smoothly. Also, there's an ongoing battle with security concerns, as hackers are always on the prowl for vulnerabilities. And let's not forget about the competition. With new blockchains popping up left and right, Ethereum is feeling the heat as it strives to maintain its top dog status. Now on to Solana. This rising star isn't immune to challenges either. Regulatory issues are one of Solana's big challenges. And then there are the security issues, as Solana works overtime to fortify its defenses against potential threats. However, just like Ethereum, competition poses a great challenge to it. With projects like Avalanche and Serum launching, ready to dethrone Solana, the pressure's on to stay ahead of the game. A tie would be a fair take here. Which is better? As we wrap up this epic crypto showdown, Ethereum and Solana each bring their own strengths and challenges to the table. Ethereum boasts a rich history, wide adoption, and a steadfast commitment to decentralization and security. On the flip side, Solana dazzles with its lightning-fast speed, impressive scalability, and promising profit opportunities. The ultimate champion? Well, that's up to you. Whether you prioritize Ethereum's established ecosystem or Solana's potential for rapid growth and speed, it's all about personal preference. Let us know your preference in the comments section. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one.